Welcome back to another episode we're over here on the Super Dope Hike, and we're about to go spearfishing afterwards. Really cool place, but yeah, we went to a waterfall, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go spearfishing. I'll see you on the water. Welcome back to another spearfishing episode. I'm bringing out my cousins today to uh, my favorite spot to get cole, aveo veo, aliihi, toao, all those good fish, and we're going to be spearfishing in Hawaii for uh, some of the first times for these guys. So. Super stoked to get in the water. So on this first drop, I'm basically just looking for these little kole with the small reef gun. It's perfect for getting those kole, especially the long distance one. You can see here, I see this one. He pops his head down and then comes back up and I'm able to get a nice shot on him. They're very curious fish. So yeah, just stay still and they will come right over to you and stick around and they're not really skittish as long as you're not provoking them or doing any sudden movements you can land some nice cole uh, with a small gun like this or a three prong even uh, most people just use a three prong but small reef guns like this uh, are pretty good too able to string this guy up first fish of the day we ended up getting 21 fish plus an eel and uh, I'll probably have to do a video on spearfishing an eel for like bait or something and uh, yeah it was super fun, so just stay tuned. So I'm trying to hunt these little cole over here, uh, and then all of a sudden I hear something, and it's uh, my cousin coming over, swimming over with a, uh, his first cole. So I was super proud of him. He got that little cole right there. That's about five inches, and uh, yeah, that was a nice size one. He's able to put it on the stringer, and we're able to get a second fish. So here I am doing a little small drop on this cole. I see him, and I'm able to spear him right there and my spear kind of gets lodged into the coral. And that's one of the downsides to using a small reef gun. You can see here, I'm looking down, fish is lodged, the spear is lodged. Come over here, trying to find out where it is. And it looks like it's attached to a rock. So I'm gonna take a breath and then try and go back down to retrieve it and just watch what happens. So you can see there that huge eel comes over and steals my fish and if I were to reach my hand in there my hand would have been gone and uh, I've been bitten before I don't want to get bitten again those things suck and you're basically like out for the summer if that thing latches onto your hand I'll go ahead and replay that in slow-mo because that was a crazy shot Creeping around uh, these little coral heads, trying to look for a cola. And you can see there, I see one out in the distance, take a shot. And uh, yeah, this little reef gun works really well for spearing small fish like cola or even to ow. And just, you know, it was a great time on the water, just getting some fish for dinner. Able to string this big boy up too. And we're on to three colas for the day. Looking good. Coming over here, my dad speared this aliihi, super sick. These are one of my favorite fish. They are amazing baked, and the only problem with these fish is that they have so many spikes. Uh, I've never speared an aliihi without getting spiked. They're also called, I'm pretty sure, saber tooth squirrel fish uh, because of the two sharp spines on their cheekbones. So, really sketchy fish, but I mean, they taste great. So, if you're willing to, uh, you know, get spiked a little bit. They're an amazing fish and I highly recommend spearing them if you see them. So my cousin over here speared two fish in a one three prong. So super stoked for him. They're about five inches each. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty crazy. And he was really stoked. He's enjoying the three prong and yeah, we're able to put two more fish on the stringer. So here I see a to'ao and I take a drop. I'm really trying to get this to'ao because they're very invasive so you can see here I shoot right in front of him and he is so lucky I rewinded it in slow-mo and it was like a few inches away from his head just a little too far in front I was trying to lead him on but it didn't work out but hey we at least know where he is and uh, we'll be able to come back spear him again someday these to'ao were brought from French Polynesia and uh they are pretty invasive. They feed on smaller native fish. So whenever you see one out in the water when you're diving, make sure to, you know, do the native fish a favor and clean the reef. I can't stress it enough. There's so much invasive fish here and, you know, just do your part by spearing some of these invasive fish and helping out with the local native fish. So right here, I see a cole. I kind of do a longer shot with this gun, but that's the benefit of it. Go ahead and shoot him right there. And uh, yeah, the benefits of using this little reef gun is that you know it's pretty powerful and it has some range so where you can find a cole that you can't usually get with a three prong 
you just go ahead and get one cole with the uh, small reef gun and it works like a charm and uh yeah that was another cole on the stringer we're up to uh, i think maybe seven fish in total but uh yeah we're looking good these cole are amazing deep fried i highly recommend going out there getting some they're they're basically party food uh most they're a local favorite and definitely one of my favorites as well I tried taking this shot of the cole and i don't know what happened it just didn't work out and uh yeah i missed him but as i'm swimming back I can kind of hear my cousin's friend, Noah, and he seems pretty skittish, so something happened, and uh, just listen to this. What? right behind the fish. Oh my god. What was he going out from? Yeah, I was like, he was like right next to me, because I was like, you know how shallow it is? That was pretty crazy. You never want to mess with those eels, and this spot unfortunately has a lot of them. So there's a lot of risk, but the reap is worth it. Over here, see this little honu or green sea turtle just cruising the shallows in a nice little reef area. So super stoked to see them on my dives. Just sitting here enjoying the water and it's a beautiful day. I'm really stoked to be out here and just be a part of nature. It's definitely a spot where all the voices outside are just drowned out, just tuned up into this hunter instinct mode. And it's definitely really fun. Kind of stalking this cole, I'm able to spear him right here. And uh, yeah, he was a pretty decent sized one, but we're starting to get the numbers. I only got a few shots on film, but we ended up getting a ton of fish and it was just such a blast shooting up all these little cole and uh, eating them at dinner with my cousins and my friends. Handed my cousin's friend uh, this little reef spear so that he can test it out and uh, it ended up working. We got a lot of fish in total. My GoPro ended up dying, but we did get a ton of fish. Another nice little green sea turtle right here. He was a little one and he was pretty startled, but always chill creatures and great to see him. So over here, my dad was able to spear this to'ao. He got another one, but he's using this technique where you uh, don't string up the to'ao to your Kui, you just put them and leave them on your spear gun and this will kind of get their attention and uh yeah really cool these two are amazing you can see here he points out one but uh yeah it's an amazing spot and i'm really really happy that we're able to get some you can see here how much fish we have already this is not even like the total amount we got we got some more after this but i'm really stoked to get some dinner after this sneaking up on my cousin to spook him because we see a lot of eels today so gotta do what's right and spook your cousin every once in a while but uh yeah we're able to get a bunch of fish and uh this was about the end of our dive i was able to spear some more cole uh and an eel as well and i'll have to do a video on that because they're a really amazing bait went back to shore by that time it was pretty dark and we ended up just cleaning the fish <laughs> yeah, careful <laughs> Eel bait, or practically a lure bait. That thing is crazy. Yeah, dang, that, that's a lot of fish right there. And that wraps up that Cole video. Uh, it was a short little video. Uh, I picked them the way that I always do. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check out that video. And uh, these things are seriously my favorite fish to eat. Uh, the size of Veo Veo, Veo Veo is pretty good. But uh, other than that, Cole are where it's at. They're very easy to find. And uh, stay tuned for some more episodes coming your way. Uh, might go night diving tonight, we'll see. But uh, yeah, until then, enjoy your day. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. See ya on our next adventure.